Run. But I don't think we've lost any yet. So what's the big deal? Doesn't everyone have an alligator somewhere, somehow? And maybe this one has always been here, but I never heard of this until now. Ole. Next time we will have to figure out some kind of dancing space because there's some chair dancing happening and it's excellent. And not, not that I don't want you to dance in your chair, but please do. There's an alligator in the house Just caught a napping in the living room She was dozing on the velvet couch And the cats were sleeping there too If you love kitties, say oh. If you love alligators, say oh. <laughs> and I thought it was weird down in Florida. <laughs> There's an alligator in the house. No one seems to mind except for me. Well, at least she doesn't eat the cats. I suspect she'd rather eat Betsy. <laughs> Okay, we got you. We got you. Remember, remember, you've seen all those videos online of, of of cats going up against alligators, and you have really big cats. It'll be fine. Also, also, bandmates. There's an alligator in the pit. Cha cha cha. She is dancing wildly with this lace. Ooh la la. To win them over to her cause. She will do whatever it takes. They think I don't see their little smiles as they plan a reptilian overthrow. But I hear them talking in my dreams. They will not be sad to see me go. So Send your seat belts. Betsy's about to release the chill. <laughs> Quit it. But I never got 
the same answer twice. So we shared this this aforementioned outdoor concert with our friend Mama Gina, who is fabu. And if you don't know her, you should look her up. Well, she got to St. Louis and had all these shows planned, but had to cancel most of them, but not the one that we did last night, in order to have emergency foot surgery. She had to have a toeectomy. Oh, no. So I got to that verse. <laughs> it was like we planned it, y'all. Yes, I lay her in my bed. She is not a master of disguise. Just a pillow waiting for my head. Soft and sweet and hungrily she lies. So not only that, but Mama Gina, who has now had a toeectomy, has this whole series of songs about this new character of hers called Nine Toes the Bard. <laughs> which she started writing before the surgery went down. Before she even knew that the surgery was supposed to go down, like a year ago. <laughs> Beware of those with bardic powers. <laughs> who don't botch their role. <laughs> and accidentally end up casting these things on themselves. Is that some powerful stuff? There's an alligator in the house. Today she joined me for a spot of tea. She helped herself to raspberries and cream. And she didn't leave any for Betsy or Alec or Heather or John or Ben or Ryan or Michelle or Jeff or me. It's just rude. <laughs> they taught you to share in kindergarten. They taught you to share. Do alligators go to kindergarten? Alligators don't go to kindergarten. Well, maybe they should. <laughs> when I thought that I had seen it all, but this alligator proved me wrong. Like a lady as she sipped her tea, she sang to me this little song. So what's the big deal? Doesn't everyone have an alligator somewhere, somehow? I know that you miss me if you found me gone, though you never noticed until now. So what's the big deal? Doesn't everyone have an alligator somewhere, somehow? And maybe this one has always been. I don't know. Maybe she up and decided to leave the sewers in Brooklyn or something and come to live in my house instead. <laughs> what is this spontaneous blessing I'm suddenly receiving from the reptile kingdom I ask you, could you delay? <laughs> you never notice until now, she says to me. Fine. Never mind. I'll just be over here. In the dark. Behind the drum set. <laughs> Waiting for John. I mean, being the alligator. <laughs> When all your raspberries and cream go missing, don't you come crying to me. <laughs> You're never cool. <laughs> but I never noticed until now, I swear. What do I know from alligator? I don't know from alligator. 